So I was nominated for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge by my good friend Derek Lashley. And um, I have to tell you that I learned about ALS two years ago, uh, the fundraiser for Chef Jerry Hayden. And uh, over the last two years, I've watched what this disease has done to him and his family. I know the Ice Bucket Challenge has been a lot of fun for people on Facebook, it's gone viral. But the reality is, the point is not only to raise money, but to raise awareness for this terrible disease. 30,000 people in the U.S. have ALS, and ALS is a death sentence. It's a disease that has no cure, and it's a slow, painful death. Typically two to five years, and over that course of time, you slowly lose control of your bodily functions until you no longer exist. And because there's only 30,000, it doesn't make financial sense for the pharmaceutical corporations to spend as much time and money and effort and resources as they need to find a cure. So we don't have one yet. So it's incumbent on us, people of the US, people of the world, to come together and look at this as a humanitarian effort, to donate money, to raise awareness, to help save lives. So for those of you that know me, I don't like to do what everybody else does. I'd like to change the Ice Bucket Challenge. My first challenge is corporately. I challenge every employee of the test of companies. Take the Ice Bucket Challenge. When you post it, post hashtag ALS Corporate Challenge. If you do, I'll donate in every one of your names to ALS. I further challenge every business owner in the U.S. to do the same. Locally, I will call out three of my friends. Tom Strauss, President and CEO of Suma Health Systems, Nick Browning, President of First Merit Akron, and Ken Babby, President of the Akron Rubber Ducks. You're next. You have 24 hours to make this challenge, make this commitment to your employees, get this going viral. Let's up the ante. Let's do it bigger, faster, and better. And for that matter, let's use bigger buckets. Corporate Challenge.